Hey y'all, and welcome to Bcentric TV. If you're new here and do not know, my name is Nita. And I know a lot of you all are wondering, like, why this girl on a video with flexi rods in her hair? Well, if you have locks, then you know when you're trying to curl your hair, you gotta keep them flexi rods in at least a day or two. So I still have them in because tomorrow I'll be hanging out and I want my hair nice and curly. So I still have them in. Um, and I'm gonna talk to you all with with the rollers, when well I rollers, the flexi rods in my hair. I ain't got no makeup on today. I am out of town right now. Um, and if you don't know, my birthday was this past monday i don't know when this video is going to be posted but my birthday was on the 25th of april yay i turned 35 years old and i want to talk to you all today about how i feel about turning 35. i also want to have a continued conversation about the last video i put out regarding body positivity because there's some new things i learned regarding another movement called body neutrality and um, those are the things I really want to talk to you today. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, you all, so in my last video, let's talk about body positivity. I need you all to go check that out. Um, I will leave the link in the description. So you can go check that out. That, uh, that video gives the the background to the body positivity movement and fat acceptance movement. And I go into the history and when it started and different things like that. And also give my commentary on how I feel about it. However, while doing that research, I did stumble upon another movement, which is similar called body neutrality. So, you know, of course you, you got to look at both, both things. You can't just look at one thing. I wanted to touch on this, um, a while ago, but I never got a chance to do it, y'all. Been busy. So what I want to talk about first is the difference between body positivity and body neutrality. So body positivity started as a political movement, a political movement about equal rights for people with marginalized bodies, meaning handicap, uh, fat, um, just anything that is not what is not deemed conventionally pretty or so you know by society so but as we see the body positivity turned into a self-love movement it wasn't about self-love it was more about uh making sure that people who were marginalized had equal rights meaning that they didn't have to uh be declined for health care because of a def or something with their body or because they're big or whatever it may be. So making sure they have equal rights in the workplace, health care, and different things like that to not be discriminated against. So it was strictly supposed to be a political movement, but as we see, it has turned into a self-love movement. Now, body neutrality is a bit different. It's more, it is more of a self-love movement, but it's a self-love movement for self. It's the body neutrality basically states that it's how you feel about yourself is irrelevant to how you feel about your body. It's about how you feel about your character. So the fact of the matter is you may not like your body today. You might not feel, you might feel groggy, you might not feel good. You might, might feel, just not feel like you look your best. But at the end of the day, you love who you are as a person, your character. You, you love yourself regardless to how down you may feel about your body. So it's really just irrelevant to the body. So it's truly about self-love. So those are the key differences between body neutrality and body positivity. And I will say um, you have some people who are more on the spectrum of body neutrality and then those who are like, no, uh, -uh we need this body positivity because fat people, handicapped people are getting discriminated against, yada, yada, yada. Um, my personal opinion is I feel like they both can coexist and both are um, important. You know, I don't believe you should be discriminated against because you do not fit the societal standard of beauty. But also, we shouldn't always place so much focus on what we look like. 
you well that's not realistic but you know we we shouldn't <laughs> we shouldn't we should focus more on who we are because you have a lot of people who are just horrible on the inside you know they they're they have horrible character they have no integrity and you should really be in a space where you love you like the person your character are you a kind person are you sharing giving and things like that and not so much focused on loving yourself because you like the way you look you should love yourself your personality However, there's a young lady. I did uh, view a video of her. I forgot her name, but I'm going to put the link in this video. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video. So be sure to click on there and um, see her standpoint of how body neutrality doesn't work for black women, uh, black people, but more specifically black women. So she said it does not apply because we do not have the privilege to be body neutrality body neutral body neutral lord i can't talk <laughs> because we are judged so much by society by how we look we're sexualized black women are very much overly sexualized in the media um we see it in music in television and different things like that so the world doesn't already see us as normal so when you're already seen as normal i.e maybe maybe a white person you know of course not all white people we we already know that but if you're already seen as normal and as the societal standard then you can be by you have the privilege to be body neutral um and i do understand where she's coming from with that stance um i get it i do because as as black people we don't always have the privilege to be able to say well this doesn't matter this doesn't matter. I'm just going to uh, focus on this because at the end of the day, society focuses on it. So we don't need any more things that they can use to discriminate towards us because she states that a lot of the things are built in anti-blackness. However, I want you to go watch her video and she'll talk about it more in depth. And of course, she's not saying that... Um, all white people are able to um benefit the privilege because if you don't have a normal body then no but um yeah it was interesting it was an interesting take take on it um but i do feel like personally that you know i can i can rock with the neutrality because i want to love the person who i am and that's really what matters the most don't get it wrong don't get it twisted i understand that the physical does matter in society you know it does to a degree you know and it you know it matters for yourself and how you feel about yourself so it's a lot to it you know i don't always feel my best every day you know i'm not gonna lie i'm i'm trying to lose some weight but you know it's for me if you're gonna do it do it for yourself do it for your health do it for yourself so that's what i um wanted to add on to the let's talk about pos body positivity and fat acceptance video once again go watch that and be sure to like share and subscribe while you're at it um so i want to get into me turning 35 um turn 35 april 25th of this year um and i was asked a few days after what does 35 mean to me and I've I didn't really think about it prior to that but I will say for me 35 I don't know it's like now I'm like officially in my mid-30s right so I feel like I can stand on what I firmly believe like stand on what I firmly want and not accept what it is that I really don't want. I feel like I'm in a space where I can do that and not feel like I have to constantly um, just be like, well, okay, I'll accept this. I I feel more confident in my choices. And I will say that's, that's something that um, become, not, not like it just happened at 35, but something that um, I've been feeling coming into this age 
Um, but it just means growth. It, it just means, like, I still got a long way to go, y'all. Like, a long way to go. So it's not over. And also, this is another thing for me, too. Understanding that I might fall short sometime. I might fall short sometime and being okay with it. Not beating myself up because I beat myself up a lot. And just being okay with, like, stuff happens. Like, neither stuff happens. And you're just going to have to be okay. It's not saying... Don't try to fix it. It's not saying just let it be, you know, fix it if you can, make it work. But it's just saying don't beat yourself up about it because things happen. Things happen. And that's with so many things. That's with work, that's career, and just just people you deal with, you know. Just understanding that the choices you make, stand on them, and you're going to be all right. And that's really what... um that's really what I've been kind of thinking about the past few days. Um, I've been doing a lot. I haven't been able to get videos out as often as I want to, but y'all, I am. I'm, I'm going to start putting them out a lot more. If you don't know, I am. Uh, I have been in a graduate program, so I've been. I'm going to have my master's soon. I graduate on May seventh. Yay, yay. So it's a, it's a lot going on right now. So I'm really excited and just, um, I'm just, I'm just excited. And I just wanted to come on here and talk to you all for a while. For, well, not really for a while because I'm about to end this video because my head hurts a little bit, y'all. My head hurt. And I really just, but I just really wanted to do a little continuation from the last video and talk to you all and just let you all know that there's more to come so just go ahead and tell your friends share the video like this video leave a comment just talk talk to me talk to me so i'm about to get back to my night and i'm gonna let you all be uh this video will probably be posted <laughs> I don't know when it's going to be posted, but it's going to be posted soon. But probably not today, probably not tomorrow. But um, possibly on the 1st of May. Or 2nd. No, I don't know. You know what, y'all? It don't even matter. It's going to be posted soon. <laughs> all right, you all. So I'm going to go ahead and end this. And just remember, be beautiful. And be you. Be you. Love yourself. No matter what, you know. Love who you are. Who you are is important. Your character. All of that.